Hey everybody, Jazz Hands here. So unfortunately, we have a disclaimer in front of this video. Um, unfortunately, we lost all the footage for the review. Um, Rod and I stayed up all night trying to retrieve it. We don't know what happened. It just it vanished. Either there was a glitch or something happened, but we unfortunately lost all that footage. Um, like I said, we tried it. We stayed up all night trying to retrieve it, trying to figure it out, and we just couldn't. And we were pretty bummed. I mean, pretty, pretty bummed. Um, so, thanks for everybody who, you know, Ronnie's 20 and stuff that allowed us to shoot uh, at your theater. Um, we got the audio, so the audio is totally good. But um, hopefully this stuff like this won't happen again. We'll be able to uh, keep everything. And we got a lot more cool stuff coming the way. But I just wanted to say that, unfortunately, we did lose the video. Um, we still have the audio, and there's a lot more cool stuff coming down the pipes. So, either way, let's get to the video. Later, everybody. DJ Jazz Hands. And it's your boy Rod. And we're here for a cool, awesome, uh, special event. I know the scenery looks a lot different, but... Way different. <laughs> but it's still cool. I mean, we got we got the opportunity, and we took it. Yeah. Because, wow, we're here to actually talk about One Piece Film Gold. This is going to be oh. our movie review for the One Piece Film Gold event. Now, okay, uh, dude, what were your thoughts? Thoughts? Uh, great. So great. So great. Uh, I love any type of One Piece. And this is like two hours of One Piece. So yeah. so give me some more. Can I get some more of that? Oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. I feel the exact same way. The animation was, for one, beautiful. Yes. Uh, as always with a One Piece uh, movie, it's, 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 it's beautiful. And, of course, the characters were fun. And I remember for like maybe like the first 20 to 30 minutes, I was like just sitting there smiling. Because there was so much cool, fun stuff going on on the screen. Oh yeah. At the and that's not saying that like I didn't enjoy the rest of the movie. It's just my face hurt after a while because <laughs> I was smiling, like, grinning ear from ear because it was so entertaining. Yeah. Uh, I think I think my top, my favorite thing about this movie is it takes the whole like uh, the whole storyline, like the whole issues with mm -hmm. this world of One Piece. Mm -hmm. It takes those whole issues and puts them in one movie. Yeah. Exactly. There was a lot. Um, like, if you're a One Piece fan, or even if you're like you're kind of just a casual fan, in and of itself, there's a lot of One Piece. Uh, one. There's a lot of cool One Piece, like Easter eggs and stuff. Like I remember, a ton, a ton. I remember we were watching, and you actually leaned over, and I saw him after I said, "Oh, that's cool." Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We saw I, a guy, I, I, from, and they only give you a glimpse of him. And I said, and I saw the glimpse, and I was like, yeah. "I already know." <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was uh, <laughs> that one of the guys who was in uh, the thriller Bark arc yeah yeah uh, where they got brooke he randomly shows up and that was like really cool and i was kind of looking around to see if i could see any other kind of cool easter eggs but um would you possibly maybe say that because i think they handled it well but i'm sure some people would say that they might have added a little bit too much going on no with um bringing in of course spoilers right now uh rob lucci and sabo no 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 they they, they all they did was continue the storyline basically mm -hmm. continue mm -hmm. the mythos of what's going on behind the scenes mm -hmm. besides just pirates yeah yeah i actually think with uh they're not getting to it now but i think because they showed rob lucci in this i think at some point, they're starting to tease Rob Lucci. He's going to come back. Um, and Rob Lucci, man, that was one of my favorite arcs in One Piece as a, in and of itself. And that was amazing that to was, see him Yeah, back. that was like one of the first heart-wrenching moments in mm -hmm. One Piece yeah. for me. Yeah, I agree 100%, 100%. And it was cool also, too, because the one thing that I love about these One Piece film movies is that they introduce a new – we get to see what's happening after the two-year time skip. Um, which Funimation isn't quite there yet. They're getting they're, there. They're not quite. Not quite. Yeah, they're yeah, getting like, there. It's getting they're knocking quick. on the door. Yeah, exactly. But um, there's still a bunch of other stuff that they have going on um, with it. So 
<laughs> they have a bunch of cool fun. Uh, oh man. They have a bunch of cool yeah. stuff kind of going on. They're knocking on the two-year time skip, and so now we kind of get a glimpse to see what happens within that two-year time skip with these uh, movies. We got to see it with One Piece Film Z, uh, with Akiji, one of my favorite characters, and now we got to see it as well with um, uh, Sabo. Sabo. Who's, of course, voiced by Sabo. my boy Vic Mignogna. Sabo. Yeah. Yeah, which was yeah. cool. And if, if, if you know who Sabo is, then you know that's a... Uh, Big event to introduce him. Big and Minyaga, one of our, one of our uh, fans and uh, mentors in the voice acting game. Yeah, exactly. That I've we have spoken to. Yeah, we have spoken interview. to. He uh, interview. That's going to be coming <laughs> soon. I'm making sure. <laughs> yeah. So. Now, because now I'm got. <clears throat> but either way, no. So yeah, it's it was cool to see him, and it was cool that we got this clip. Uh, this kind of like window into the future, but it's still kind of kept strong with the One Piece characters. Mm -hmm. And I think the One Piece works because, like I've said, and I've said it a million times, like One Piece is one of those series where there's a lot to go into. Yeah. Um, and I've, I've known some people who they say it's too much. I'm jumping, I'm jumping the ship and I'm going to wait till it's over. Um, which I, it's That's not a good idea. No, because you're going to miss <laughs> so much <laughs> crucial stuff. Um, this storyline could go in so many different directions and be yeah. so great. Yeah. It's almost endless. Yeah. W Oda could literally end the One Piece series and then have spinoffs of, like, Robin, what she's been doing. Um, Red Shanks. Like, there's so many things that they could do with the series. Yeah. But one thing that I think really makes it work and at least keeps me invested through the long haul is the Straw Hats. Yeah. The Straw Hats are a fantastic group of characters that really do work well off each other and there's never this kind of moment granted they do kind of go through it once in a while oh, they, all the time yeah. um but there's never this kind of like goku moment where we need goku to beat this bad guy yeah yeah and i hate that and i hate i, that. I hate that too I like that so granted much. luffy kind of shows up at the end and always beats the bad guy and they do rely on luffy yeah. quite a lot but you're watching zoro zoro attacked the main uh villain in this right out the gate and if he would have won that would have been the end of it like <laughs> and so there's not like the Straw Hats are such a cool and unique team and they work really well and play off of each other really well. And I think yeah. Funimation has done a really good job of kind of showing that and showing their friendship and, 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 and voice acting around it. It's fantastic. And I they mean, have the it. most unique combos, bro. Like the combos. Oh, yeah. If you've ever seen One Piece, their combos are like, I never could have seen. I never could have thought that. Yeah, that, that would be a combo. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, and and so th every single one. I mean, I of course, I don't. There's not like a bad straw hat for me. I have uh, my, I have, I like, I yeah, love. Yeah, I have. Yeah, go like ahead. Like my favorite's like I like. Okay, I love who's Usopp. Your favorite? Right, Frankie. No, who's your favorite? Flat of out. all time, Frankie. Really? It's, he's super, baby. He's really? super, and really? you got to Yeah, you got to love Frankie. He's a cyborg. Um, no, Frankie that is one of the tops. He's he's a cyborg that runs on Coca Cola. He's one of the tops. He's <laughs> one of the strongest. And I'm really glad that they gave him justice in this movie. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah. I mean, he, you know, along with everybody else, if mm. you watch the Japanese simulcast, just like everybody else on the team, he's upgraded too. Yeah. Hey, he's no punk. He, yeah, he's no, no punk. No, exactly, exactly. <laughs> he's a punk to deal with. But he's Frankie's one of my favorites. Now, what about you? Uh, my favorite is, of course, Sanji, the man lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man, man, the ladies' man. Ladies' the, man, you got to love The Sanji. Tyrone Biggums, the uh, <laughs> uh, Leon Phipps the yep. <laughs> of the series. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. Sanji's, Sanji's so fantastic. The hopeless so romantic. Fun. Exactly, and you got to love... <laughs> You gotta love Sanji. I think he, like, a lot of people relate, and that's that's one thing too. The Straw Hats. There's a lot of characters that you can relate with. Yeah. Um, even with, I mean, granted, it all boils down to the one thing that everybody can kind of relate with, and that's uh, each one's trying to be better than what they were yesterday. Yeah. Each one's yeah. striving for a goal. They all had their own stories, their own yeah. heartaches, their own goals. Yeah, exactly. They have their own dreams that they're trying to fulfill. That um, come together in this really beautiful team. And I believe it's in the anime or some one of them said it where it's like, we may not look like a team. We may look like we fight and that there's no way we can work together. But because we have these dreams and because we respect each other for these dreams, that's where we're strong. And that's where and it's true. It's for the overall series. And, it, and if you actually know the series, each one of those, each one of their dreams 
if they all have this one goal and they complete it, all of their dreams will come true. Yeah. And, and so, that's and that I don't know if they know that, but, but they kind of know it. Yeah. It gives you something to root for. Yeah. But I mean the film like I said, if you're a One Piece fan, this film is fantastic. Funimation did, of course, a great job. I'm excited to see when the anime kind of catches up. Oh, uh, not to interrupt you, but I don't too much watch the dub. Yeah. I wasn't upset at the voice acting. I And actually, Frankie has the best voice. Mm-hmm. Frankie has the best voice. Uh, and, of course, uh, Zoro. Yeah, Frankie, Zoro. Um, which are, of course, those are voice. the best voices. I'm like, oh my Zoro's goodness, I'm like, by... this dub is, is legit. Yeah, no, it's this definitely dub is legit. It's definitely it's come a long legit. way. Yeah, it's definitely come a long way from the day four kids had it. And you had Eric Mu as Sanji, and now you have, uh, you know, Eric, uh, Eric Vale, I believe. Yeah, yeah, Trunks. Um, so it, they've done a really good, fantastic job of dubbing this and taking care of this. and I, that's why I'm in it for the long haul. And this movie was a really nice, because the the thing with the movies where sometimes people wonder, well, why would Funimation dub a movie that they're not at yet? Yeah. And I think it's because for the fans that are past it and they want to, and they're a fan of the English version, but they're also watching in Japanese. Um, this is a good kind of. This is what the stuff's going to sound like. This is what Luffy going Gear 4 is going to sound Ooh, like, you know. Gear 4. Um, this is Gear what, 4. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Whew, that's in this movie. Gear 4. Yeah, this is what Sabo's going to sound like. And I didn't. Oh, my characters. goodness. It's so, it's so many extra eggs in this thing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to jump back to the Japanese series. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to jump back into it. Go for it. Maybe, uh, watch, maybe, maybe watch. I'll tell you what. You should watch the uh, movie in Japanese and then tell me how it is. And there was some extra stuff in here I didn't know people could do. Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah. 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 I, I, and, and, of course, because like, <laughs> normally when I go into kind of movies like this, like, I'm always expecting it to be a quote-unquote anime movie. Yeah. Um, they go to a new land. They meet a new bad guy. They fight the new bad guy. They meet a girl that um, is kind of the key that helps them along. Uh, and it's kind of the exact formula. And they've done different. it quite a lot. But different, yeah. But it's still so enjoyable. Yeah. This was different. This was still fun. It was entertaining. I got to see Lou. First off, we get to know that Usopp is a fantastic driver. Yeah. You know, yeah. fantastic. That's why we have this cool little car we, motif. They don't even have cars in this city. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But For Usopp real. can but drive. Yeah. And he, better than most. Like, right. It's like, why isn't he piloting the Sunny sometimes? Right. You know? I mean, he used to, quote unquote, be a captain. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. I, I think that's coming at some point. I but know, Had his own ship. I don't know. But, uh, you know, still, it's like. Is that the same as steering a car? I don't know. Yeah. I don't but know. still, there's a lot. They do a good job of uh, sympathizing with the villain, too. Oh, the villain, man. Yeah. I almost, I felt bad for the villain. Yeah. I feel bad. So did I. He wants that control. He, he wants that. He wants to be liked. He, yeah. Essentially. He, and well, he wants to kind of. He, he wants, wants to be, be respected. Be, yeah. And liked. Yeah. And that was, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So that, that, that was it. And when he didn't get that, you know, and it's like. This One Piece world crushed everything about him. Yeah. Exactly. You got to kind of give the One Piece. Um, or you got to kind of give respect to get it. And he was just trying to take and he was trying to bribe people. Um. Yeah. You know, and of course, Luffy gave him the smackdown. <laughs> I thought I thought he was gonna come to his senses though, and and he didn't. No. And he had to get more of a smackdown. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was all a game, but then it was like a game within a game, and so many twists and turns. This film, if you're a One Piece fan, and even if you're not a One Piece fan, and you're just you're contemplating like, oh, I don't know, I want to get into One Piece, but it's so long. Watch this movie. You probably won't know what's going on. <laughs> but I guarantee you'll have a lot of fun, and it might make you want to check out the series. Yeah, yeah, it will. You you'll start at one and be just twenty four hours. You'll be doing One Piece. Yeah, if, if oh. you watch this movie. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. If you're an I anime fan it. at all, and you watch this movie, you'll be on One Piece tonight when yep. you get home. Yeah, no, no oh. joke. Oh yeah, I might actually break out and start I'm, watching. I'm going time. home to watch some One Piece. Yeah, I think I am too. I'm going home to watch One Piece now. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> so it's so good. And the thing about One Piece is too, you watch it and you kind of get sick of it after a little bit. After like 100, 200, 300 episodes. No. Like, uh, but you give it a minute, you get back into it. No, I'm never like that. Unless I'm just I'm just busy. We're busy doing this. Uh -huh. I'm like I don't have time. Mm -hmm. And then we come to this event, and I'm like, 
I'm drinking. I need to go back and watch One Piece. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just enjoying it, eating a good meal, <laughs> watching Luffy kick the crap out of somebody. But that's pretty much all my thoughts. It was a fantastic film, good story, good character. Good animation. Uh, driven, good animation. The CGI worked, I think, really well. There was CGI people in it as background people, and it worked. Yeah, it, you can tell unless tell you were really him. looking yeah. at it. Um so yeah, I think it was the fantastic. city itself was immaculate. We we talked. Oh my god, yeah, that's the one thing. Spoiler: We're talking Las Vegas in yeah, gold. Exactly, it was Las <laughs> Vegas in gold on a ship. Like we talked a little bit yeah. about how uh, this is just me. How cool uh, the Spirited Away movie visual was. Like I wanted to go to this ship. Oh yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to gamble. Oh yeah, I wanted to gamble. I wanted to not, eat all the food. Not see lose all the my people. life though, but. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> but I want to gamble. When this when this ship that is technically considered a country, a country in and of is itself, that big, is that big, um, powered by turtles. Yeah, not lion, but it's One Piece. One Piece I consider Mus- muscle turtles. Yeah, muscle turtles. One Piece I consider <laughs> One Piece the Doctor Seuss of anime. Ooh, that's anything, yeah. Anything good. that can yeah. happen will, will happen, happen. Yeah, and yeah. the characters are so unique and interesting, and you're always gonna find new stuff. There's never yeah. a formula. Yeah, and like they always introduce some kind of new kind of method. I'm like, yeah, muscle turtles. I've never heard. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I need a muscle turtle now. Yeah, muscle turtles. They also had this guy in the opening from the Long Long Tribe who literally grabs his ears <laughs> and uses, it, and he has like a gotlin, <laughs> like a, a gatling gun on his head, and he just starts firing at Luffy, and it's like. <laughs> just so fun and so creative and that's that's the best part yeah that's some they, of the best part of one piece they, they even have that cowboy you know that famous cowboy light in las vegas they uh-huh. even had this in the movie oh wow i don't know if that's copyright or not or, or some kind of look i don't know sorry I mean, Funimation. I mean, sure. sorry Funimation. I'm, I'm sure i'm sure that they <laughs> tried to get as much las vegas oh yeah as possible you know the gambling and everything <laughs> like that but i mean what anything else to say no no uh just great just yeah, great. Um, I think so too. Thank you, Warenberg. Thank you, Warenberg. Marcus Warenberg. Yeah, thank you, Marcus, Marcus Warenberg. Warenberg. They uh, like rolled the red carpet out for us. Like, yeah, really nice. Whatever That's you why guys we want, to... you need something to eat, you need something to drink. Yeah. Don't that... tell nobody that. <laughs> That's where like this place has been so kind. I mean, we get to shoot here. We've got to shoot um, there, and so it's been really fantastic. It could be our new home. I, I I don't want to leave. Could be. It could be. I don't want to leave. Yeah. I kind of get the whole One Piece Film Gold vibe from just this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to eat dinner here. But <laughs> either way, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, it's been a blast. Yeah. We want to thank uh, Rods Media Inc. Rods Media Inc. Thank you, and, too. And uh, Marcus Warrenberg, Ronnie's 20. Yep. Thank you. Ronnie's 20. Thank you. We should hopefully should have a lot. Good movie. We should hopefully have a lot coming up. Um. If you're interested to actually hear one of the actors uh, who was in One Piece Film Gold, um, a while back we got to interview Brina Palencia. I'll put that link down yes. below. So if you're interested to kind Chopper. of hear her. Yeah, exactly. Tony Tony Chopper. Chopper. One of my other favorite characters. Um, I don't not have a One Piece character that I don't like. <laughs> um, we got to talk to her for a little bit and just talked a little bit about One Piece and what what what, what it was like for her. So. Um, check out down below and hopefully we get maybe a couple more interviews I yeah. don't know it's up in the air but we'll see here shortly yeah and don't forget anime pad that blog yep you can, you can get all our stuff all our good stuff all the videos all our written stuff yep. and also um, Express Team Wave YouTube yep. channel yep just yep. did Express Team just Wave. started it up you can get our videos there Yep, yep. Uh, we have a couple up now, and we're going to have a lot more coming up in the future. So yeah, we're affiliated with uh, the FV Forum, yep. Flotsam Valley Forum. And, and uh, 89.5, the Wave, KCFV, Ferguson, the radio station up at Florson Valley, and the newspaper up at Florson Valley. Uh, look those Flo- up. Yep, look those up. They're fantastic. They helped us uh, kind of become and let us do what we've been wanting to do and uh, got us kind of, I wouldn't say they got us here, but they allowed they, us they to. They gave us the idea, and then we took our idea and created a world. With yeah, it. which is what you got to do. <laughs> what, which is what you got to do. But yeah. Either way, guys, again, thanks Thank so you. much. All right. It's been a blast, and we'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>